More than two months into his administration, President Joe Biden held his first formal press conference with reporters. He took questions on major topics like COVID-19, immigration and foreign relations. A hopeful but serious President Biden today said the nation is making real progress in the fight against the coronavirus. Now today I'm setting a second goal, and that is we will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots in people's arms. Eager to sell his first major relief legislation, the president instead facing tough questions at his first press conference about the crisis at the southern border, whether his team is doing enough to house and care for migrant children, and if his own policies played a role. Biden pointed blame back at former President Trump. Building back up the capacity that should have been maintained and built upon that Trump dismantled. 65 days into his administration, President Biden waited longer to hold a formal press conference than any of his recent predecessors in the last 100 years. His team has made a point, though, of holding daily press briefings and several press conferences on the pandemic itself. On matters of foreign policy, he was reserved, taking questions about next steps with North Korea after the country launched several ballistic missiles this week. There will be uh, responses if they choose to escalate. Um, we will respond accordingly. But I'm also prepared uh, um, for some form of diplomacy. He did not hold back when asked about efforts led by Republican legislatures to change voting and election rules in states around the country. What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. It's sick. Now, passing any major piece of legislation will be extremely difficult for President Biden under current Senate rules. Today, he made it increasingly clear that he is open to changing those rules, though. He said the filibuster has been abused in a gigantic way. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, Washington.